I am 100% convinced this breathtaking new game does not actually exist. The Day Before currently sits as one of the most wishlisted games on Steam, but we haven't heard anything yet about anybody actually playing the game, and the trailers being released still resemble those shiny CGI ones that you see at gaming conventions, that usually always end up not being like the final product at all. What exactly is The Day Before? Well, it's an ambitious upcoming survival MMO, from a developer called Fantastic. From its various trailers that have been released, it's now become one of the most anticipated new games of 2023. It's set in post-pandemic America, and plays a bit like Days Gone Cross with a Division. In a storyline that will be very similar to people who played The Last of Us, you'll have to explore through various cities finding resources to survive, while fighting off zombie-like infected inhabitants. At the same time though, there will be other survivors out there waiting to kill you for valuable resources. In gameplay styles that are very similar to Escape from Tarkov and The Division, other players will fight alongside you, or against you, in order to get the resources they need to survive. The day before was first announced in 2021, and currently ranks higher on Steam's wishlist than Starfield, Hollow Knight's Silk Song, and Hogwarts Legacy. But the developers delayed the game at the time, wanting to shift it from the Unreal Engine 4 to the Unreal Engine 5 to make it look a lot better. At the moment, the MMO is only going to be on PC. Developers Fantastic have also said that they're looking into the possibility of releasing it on the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, but they're not clear as of yet when the console versions will be ready. In saying that though, we've not even seen footage of the PC release yet, so it's unknown if that is even ready yet. In a statement to IGN, Fantastic said that the move to the Unreal Engine 5 was so that they could move to the more advanced and adapted open worlds engine to make the gameplay from day before even more fantastic. From the previews we've seen so far about how the Unreal Engine 5 works, and how amazing it's made Fortnite look, I think they've made a wise choice moving to the Unreal Engine 5. Honestly, by modern day standards, the better your game looks, the better it will sell. So delaying a game to make it look better is definitely going to be a good selling point. When the news broke of the delay last year, the studio appeared to be looking for some volunteers to help with its upcoming projects. This isn't specifically to do with the day before, but the timing was very convenient. The job post suggested that the studio was maybe in some financial difficulties, because they were looking for some part-time volunteers who would do jobs ranging from translating to community moderating, which is a massive job for a game like this, and none of them would be paid. Instead of actual monetary payment, they would get participation certificates and free codes to the game. But the main scepticism I have about the game is largely due to the fact that we haven't really seen much gameplay, or had any substantial information about the game itself. The most recent trailer we saw for the game did show off its ray tracing features, but no actual gameplay, so you can kind of see why I'm a bit sceptical about the game. Honestly, I hope it releases and I hope it does really well, because the whole concept behind the game is fascinating, and it's definitely one that I'd want to play, but I just don't know what it's going to be like, and I hope it's not going to be a flop. As ever, I will keep you updated on this, and any news I hear about the game I'll let you know first. If this game lives up to the hype, it's going to be a potential for Game of the Year, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that one.